They call it Jerusalem's unification, the day, according to the Jewish calendar, that Israeli troops gained control of the city's eastern half, including its historic walled heart. Every year, religious nationalists come to celebrate that anniversary in a sea of blue and white, the colors of the Israeli flag. This year, there was also a smattering of red, white and blue. For Palestinians in the old city, the anniversary represents another year of Israeli occupation and a day to close up early. Except that this year, several shopkeepers decided to stay open. This is my shop, this is my country, why should I close? Israeli police should provide security for me and prevent any harm coming to me. Well, this is an annual event, of course, but this year these celebrations have been given an added impetus. People here are marking not just the 51st anniversary of the fall of East Jerusalem to Israeli forces, but also the fact that the U.S. is moving its embassy to Jerusalem. The atmosphere was quieter but hardly less celebratory at the Israeli Foreign Ministry, where Israel's Prime Minister welcomed the U.S. delegation led by Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin and featuring President Trump's daughter and son-in-law. President Trump is making history. We are deeply grateful and our people will be eternally grateful for his bold decision to recognize Jerusalem as Israel's capital and to move the embassy there. Across town at the U.S. consulate, they were setting the stage for Monday's ceremony. Donald Trump is set to address the invitees from the giant screen. Palestinian factions have called for protests nearby. There is no cheating anymore. They have been cheating us for, for a long time, claiming that they are chaperoning a peace process, when in effect they've been siding with Israel all the time against international law, against the agreements that have been signed in the White House. Well, this is over. Therefore, it opens up a new chapter of Palestinian resistance. But already the Israeli government is making the most of what it sees as an opportunity to extend its influence and sovereignty into Jerusalem's occupied east. By extending land registration powers, the Israeli school curriculum and tourism projects. For the Jerusalem Day marches, this was about celebrating a past victory. But in Jerusalem and beyond, the next few days will help shape the future for Israelis and Palestinians, for good or ill. Harry Fawcett, Al Jazeera, Occupied East Jerusalem.